the minority until the substantive matter is determined conclusively. We remain determined that even on the balance of weighing monetary considerations against the weight of a constitutional breach, the emphasis should be on what harm we are doing to the 1992 constitution and the three co-equal organs of state. So in the determination of whether some irreparable damage or hardship will be caused, our hardship as we understand it is the disrespect to the constitution by the action of passage into law of an act, Act 1075, with numbers below the minimum constitutional threshold of 138 members of parliament. Can you imagine? I heard the Attorney General liberally arguing that it was a voice vote. So Ebenezer Kum voted with his voice from an ambulance, or he voted with his voice from a clinic to add to the voice vote, and he is insisting that 266 members of parliament participated in the decision and participated in the motion. 266 members of parliament after the minority of 136 walked out, certainly these are matters that the Ghanaian public can judge better. But what is refreshing and heartwarming today is the second part of the ruling, which gives directives to the Ghana Revenue Authority to preserve and keep the money. At least some people will not be in a rush to collateralize it until the substantive matter is determined. For us, we raise this matter because it's of public interest significance, it's of constitutional significance, and we think that we'll pursue it to its logical uh, conclusion. So we are very happy with the performance of uh, our lawyers. We only pray that Ghana is not going to have two sets of laws one that serves and protects the elected elite of a ruling government and one that serves the political minority of an opposition. Judicial notice of our workout, they worked out. They worked out when the budget was rejected. rejected. You know the numbers. It was 274. Yeah. We are not told that quorum and quorum for decision was 274 as we have been told somewhere uh, in someone's argument, at least not the court that 266 passed the motion. What you people should note is that in parliamentary practice, the fact that you took a motion through second reading did not mean that at consideration and third reading, you didn't require minimum numbers. We still uphold the principle. At least, the sequencing was marked absent from the record that we have.